everyone. It's Nami Kanaika from Encouragement from the Word of God. It's a beautiful Friday. I'm excited to speak about the Word of God. So many things happened today in the morning and uh, I was um, thinking of what I'm going to speak about today. And it's really asking ourselves, is there time for God during our busy days? Our days might be busy with so many things, so many people calling for our attention, so many things that we are responsible and to, to do. As parents, there are so many responsibilities that you have added to your calendar. So I just realized today that the person who's dropping my sons to school, um, she's not available to pick them up. So I have to change my calendar to see if I'm available to uh, pick them up. And uh, they have appointments that I have to take and the school arrange for a meeting for next week. So many things are filling up in my calendar. And I was wondering, is there time for God? definitely there should be time for God because he's everything to us we cannot breathe or do anything we would not be able to succeed with in any anything if we do not have time for him we need to surrender have that quiet time even five minutes even ten minutes even a half an hour just to wander ponder on him and give time to him because he can solve any problems that we might have he can solve the mess that we are in so I want to encourage you from the Word of God. And what does the Word say? It says in the Word of God, there's time for everything. Ecclesiastic chapter 3 verses 1 to 10. For everything there is a season, and time for every matter under heaven. A time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, a time to reap, a time to kill, a time to heal, a time to break down, a time to build up, a time to weep, and a time to love. A time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones again, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. There is a time for everything. God has given us 24 hours a day and sometimes we feel that even 24 hours is not enough for the things that we have on our line or on, on things to, that we are supposed to do. But there is always time for God. There's always time for God. I know that when I surrender to God, when I kneel down, when I say, God, I surrender. I know I'm busy. I know I have this thing to do, that thing to do. But God, I want to give time to you. I want to pay my attention to you. I want to come to you and say, I cannot do it anymore with my strength, but I need your help. God is saying to you and me that he has the times in his hands. He has our days in his hands. He has numbered our days. He has everything in his hands. He can take care of the fear that we might feel. He can take care of the worries that we might have. He can take care of the struggles that we try to juggle every day. He can take care of it. So I want to encourage you. Pray without ceasing. Have that time, that quietness without ceasing, without telling a limit and limiting God by saying, God, even when I'm driving, even I'm doing something, God, I'm communicating with you. I need you. I need your help. I need your direction. I need your help because in everything I want to do, I want to acknowledge you. I want you to be with me. I want you before me. I want you helping me. You are my only hope. You are my only strength. You are the one who can help me. You are my strength. So let's today, let's continue to seek the Lord let's continue to seek his strength and his presence so that he would be with us and help us to overcome any struggles anything that we might fear or we might face let's surrender everything today to him father we come to you God we know there is a time for everything and there is definitely time for you God we want to surrender our hearts and we ask you for forgiveness Lord for always giving you the second seat or always giving you the back seat but God we want you to be in the driver's seat we want Holy Spirit you to lead us and guide us and direct every step of the way whatever struggle whatever mountain whatever thing that we might face help us to know that you've been faithful in the past you'll be faithful in the future and to give you the driver's seat to drive and direct and lead us so Lord we commit our worries our anxieties our troubles to you knowing that you hold our time and encourage you everyone to surrender everything to him he knows your time he knows your seasons he knows everything about you so today if you have worries if you have anxieties if you have troubles lay them at his feet and surrender to him he has the times in his hands and he needs our time and attention we need to give him priority in our day in our life today 
I hope this blessed you as much as it blessed me. I'm going out now to the uh, well, well Spring Center for youth, uh, young youth who will be doing an art class with me. I am late. I'm going to rush there now. So I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend. Stay connected to God because you need him as much as we need him. We need to be connected to him. God bless you. Bye.